the witch, she can bring baby. I hear her say so. What's the deal my people, you know this Don Tony Teflon and I'm back at you another one and in this video I will give you 100% proof that Daenerys Targaryen is pregnant with twins in Game of Thrones season 8 but will she die? That will be up to you to decide. I will give you all the foreshadowing and all the hidden clues that you might have missed that point in both directions. Daenerys is asked to perform a ritual by the Dash Khalin in They Still Threat. And this ritual is to eat a whole horse's heart. And not only does she have to eat this horse's heart, but she cannot throw up any piece of this heart. And although this is just as disgusting as the Coney Island hot dog eating contest that goes on every year, Daenerys Targaryen is able to hold on and defeat this challenge. After she defeats this challenge, which she must have been the first person to do because they are very excited that she did it. Extremely excited. The Dosh Colleen then say that her baby will be the Calicals, the stallion who will mount the world. And after this, Daenerys gives her baby a name. <laughs> So Rago becomes the prophesized Calicals, the stallion who will mount the world. But unfortunately, Rago does not live because before he can be born, Danny gets into some beef with Cal Drogo's people. And when he takes her side over his Calisar, this leads to a minor revolt by one member. Now, Cal Drogo quickly defeats this man, but in doing so, he is injured. And it's this injury, this small little injury, that becomes the downfall of Cal Drogo. Because even though he is worn by his people, his blood riders, his ride or die team, the people who have been running with him from the jump, instead of listening to them, Cal Drogo takes the advice of Danny. And why? Why would he listen to her over his people he'd been rolling with? Because the Kala cow was whipped. He was whipped. She put it on him. We know she put it on him. You've seen the techniques she learned to put it on this man. To seduce this man. And it worked. Cal Drogo was strong. So strong that he didn't think with the right head at the right time. And this is all foreshadowed. And I'm going to point that out in a second. Because Cal Drogo's death was only meant to bring forth the birth of the dragons and we can see this clearly from this scene when we look at this scene what do we see we see daenerys learning to seduce cal drogo what happens when she learns to seduce cal drogo she is able to get in his ear and he listens to her right when she's learning these techniques what do they show exactly when she's done learning these techniques they show the dragon eggs. Showing you that Daenerys will use these techniques to seduce Khal Drogo, which will eventually lead to the birth of these three dragon eggs. Daenerys asks Mirror Master to bring Khal Drogo back to save his life if she knows any techniques, and Daenerys brings up blood magic. Mirror Master tries to talk her out of it, but Daenerys then insists that she performs this blood magic on Khal Drogo. And Miri Master tells her and warns her exactly what's going to happen if she does it. It's not a matter of gold. This is blood magic. Only death pays for life. My death? No, not your death, Khaleesi. And although Danny did not catch it, we can clearly see her look straight down at Daenerys' stomach after she says this. Now she asks for a horse 
to come in there and she starts to perform the sacrifice but before she does she tells Daenerys to leave she doesn't leave and this leads to the spattering of blood on Daenerys's face before she gets out now the ceremony had already started to begin in the show when Miri Mazder is performing this ceremony we only hear her chanting but in the books we hear the words that she says and the words are strength of the beast go into the man strength of the man go into the beast and when this horse's blood splatters on her face right after this is when Daenerys starts having contractions so is the spell that Mira Master performing sucking the life from the baby at this particular time and putting it inside a Cal Drogo Danny then exits the tent but before she does Mira Master tells her not to have anyone come back into the tent you must go also lady once I begin to sing no one must enter the tent but when the sounds scare the Kalistar outside and they try to approach the tent, they push Daenerys on the floor and this leads to eventually her saying that she has to give birth right now. Which leads Jorah Mormont to bring Daenerys back inside the tent while the ceremony is being fully performed. Next time we see Khal Drogo, he's in this catatonic state and Daenerys asks Mira Master. When will he be back to normal? When the sun rises in the west, sets in the east. When the seas go dry, when the mountains blow in the wind like leaves. But in the books, she also says, when your womb quickens again and you bear a living child, then he will return and not before. Now this could be taken as her saying, when pigs fly, or this could be taken as a literal prophecy. Now I told you before that when dealing with prophecy in A Song of Ice and Fire, you have to look at it like this. If you ask a genie, you want a hot chick, you might just get a chicken on fire. So you have to be specific when dealing with these prophecies. And that's what Daenerys wasn't, because if she was, then she would have seen that Miramaz's plan the whole time was to kill her baby. Because Mir Mazda believed in the prophecy of the stallion who mounts the world and she believed that Daenerys' baby would become the, the stallion who mounted the world and she did not want that to happen. So when Khal Drogo was injured, Mir Mazda seen her opportunity. She made him go into a canatonic state so Daenerys would then allow her to use this blood sacrifice which she knew would not bring Khal Drogo back to life but would kill Daenerys' baby. That's why she spread this information. Hmm? He's coming. Fetch the midwives. They will not come. They say she is cursed. Uh, uh, They'll come or I'll have their heads. Uh, the witch, she can bring baby. I hear her say so. She spread the rumor that she could give birth to babies because she knew that she would be put in this position because she knew that the spell that she was using would not bring Khal Drogo back. The spell she performed was a blood magic spell that said strength of the beast go into the man, strength of the man go into the beast. Who does that? And who uses blood magic? Wargs. Skin changers. And that's what this spell is for. It's a blood magic spell used to force a warg or skin changer back into his body and out of the animal's body. And if Khal Drogo was a warg, this would have worked on him. That is why if you look at Khal Drogo's face when he's laying on the table, he looks like a warg. And this is the spell that Mirror Master will use in the books to force John at a ghost and back into his body. Hashtag free ghost. And as naive as Danny is, she believes that she will never have another child until Jon Snow points the obvious out to her. I can't have children. Who told you that? The witch who murdered my husband. As it occurred to you, she might not have been a reliable source of information. So Miri Mazda lies to her to make her believe that she cannot have any more children. And why? Because Miri Mazda knows that she can have more children and that this next child could be 
the stallion who mounts the world. So the final proof that Daenerys and Jon are going to have twins goes like this. Number one, we have seen them have sex on the boat. So obviously if you have sex, there's a possibility of you getting pregnant. And we also seen Jon Snow back in season one talk about his fear of getting someone pregnant. But I couldn't do it. Because all I could think was, what if I got her pregnant? If she had a child, another bastard named Snow. It's not a good life for a child. No need to bring that up if they're not going to pay that off. And to get to the point where Daenerys is going to have twins, the proof comes in with the people who taught her how to make love in the beginning. The moon? You told me the moon was an egg, Khaleesi. That once there were two moons in the sky, but one wandered too close to the sun and it cracked from the heat. Out of it poured a thousand thousand dragons. And who do we know from the beginning of this story that is called or referred to as the moon? And what happens directly after this slave tells Daenerys her story about the moon? Leave me with her. Why did the trader from Karth tell you these stories? Men like to talk when they're happy. Which leads to her teaching Daenerys how to seduce Khal Drogo which starts the chain of events that I told you about from the beginning, which leads to the birth of the dragons. The only thing that Mira Mazda got wrong was it wasn't Cal Drogo who was supposed to be the father. It is Jon Snow, who is Azura Hyde reborn, which could be looked at as the metaphorical son. Since it is said in the books that Azura Hyde's sword blinds people like the sun. Those are my thoughts on why I believe that Daenerys will have twins with Jon Snow. But will she die from this childbirth? Since this video has gone on longer, I will have to make a part two and explain exactly what's going to go on then. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified when that video is uploaded. And if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.